Spirit Shaw, and we're so thankful you're here joining us today for our big day of STEM learning. We have been reading this book, it's called Balloons Over Broadway, and each month we've been doing a different book with a STEM theme, but this book is all about Tony Sarge and how he kind of invented and built up the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, and it changed from one little small parade to what it is today. And so you'll see a variety of different floats, puppets, and um, fi figurines that students have made to demonstrate the learning that they've been doing this year. So sit back and enjoy, and thank you again for coming. All right, well, good morning. I'm Mrs. George. I am your child's music teacher here at Shaw, and we're super excited today because we're starting out with fifth grade. And if I can have our fifth grade speakers that are going to tell me a little bit about um, what we're going to see from fifth grade. Are you going to start out for us, Shep? All right, can you tell us? He's not sure, but he's going to start out for us. Can you tell us a little bit about what you guys have worked on for the parade? Let me tell you this class. We learned about the Southeastern and Southwestern regions in the United States. We chose dates for these regions to research. During our research, we learned about the geography, economy, and tourism for each state. Then we designed and built our boats. Very nice. Thank you, Shep. And can I get somebody else to talk a little bit more about what you're going to show us in the parade? In the in the western region, we it had they have a wide variety of resources and interesting entertainment. Some natural resources and in industries include rich soil, gold, forestry, salmon shellfish, produce, the mining industry, and the fishing industry. Some states produce electronic capital resources, including um, the western region is home of the Silicon Valley. One big industry is sports. Sports include surfing, skateboarding, and snowboarding. Well, thank you so much. We can't wait to see about the western region. And who do we have next? Edgar, what are we going to be talking about? Ms. Taylor's class has been learning about <laughs> Ms. Taylor's class has been learning about the Northeast regions. We have studied and researched about the Northeast region states. We have made floats and documented about these states for you to show them to you. Thank you so much, Edgar. We can't wait to see those. Come on up, Sawyer. <coughs> In Ms. Lewis's class, we researched the Midwest region of the United States. We each chose an individual state to research and showcase here for you today. The Midwest region includes Missouri, Wisconsin, Ohio, Indiana, South Dakota, North Dakota, Iowa, Nebraska, Illinois, Kansas, Michigan, and Minnesota. We hope you enjoy. Well, we are so excited to see those, so let's bring them out. And if you guys will go join your classes, we can bring our floats down. You guys can go ahead and start walking. We can't wait to see those regions of the United States. Come on down, fifth grade. We've been traveling far Without a home But not without a star Every time 
that flags unfurled They come into America Got a dream to take them there They come into America Got a dream they come to share like George Washington and Alexander Hamilton to the modern day heroes like Kathleen Johnson and Jackie Robinson. Our country wouldn't be what it is today without the influence of these leaders. Very nice case, thank you. And can you tell me a little bit more about what we're going to see from fourth grade? Even though we, these are leaders who have a platform, any American citizen can make a difference in our country, including us. We have a voice and we can use it for good. I love that message. And Carter, can you finish it up for us? In our learning about our influential leaders of America, we have a design models and representations of these in individuals and landmarks that represent America. We are proud to be American citizens and we pay tribute to American heroes today. Thank you so much. We are so excited to see what you guys have worked on. <laughs> Oh wow, these are the real forefathers. I feel like we've just stepped back in time here. This is awesome. Got some puppets here. Very nice. Did you guys take a trip to the Jim Henson workshop? These are amazing. I love it. Very nice. I love all the detail. Your designs, these are beautiful. Great job, guys. poster here. Are you guys going to tell us a little bit about what we're going to be seeing from second grade today? Can you tell us a little bit? What did you guys work on for the grade? We worked on like landforms. Very good. So you worked on landforms. So what were some of those landforms that you learned about and designed? I think we know one of them. <laughs> the plains, the volcanoes, anything else? 
maybe some rivers and plateaus. Very cool. Do you have something to share with us about your parade project? Okay. In second grade, we learned about landfills and how water and wind can affect our world. Did you know that most volcanoes are found underwater? One of the largest, largest volcanoes is in the northwest Pacific Ocean. It's called the Tano Massive. A plateau is a flat elephant landform that rises sharply above the surrounding area on at least one side. Plateaus occur on every continent and takes up a third of the Earth's land. Very nice, thank you. And you girls can go ahead and walk down. I think that we have some more speakers coming through. All right, very nice. This is awesome. Will you tell us a little bit about what you designed here? We designed a plateau. I love it. Very good. And she just told us a little bit about those plateaus, right? Thank you, guys. Did you have anything to add, Luke? So we decided to do a rock fall there. Very cool. What is a rock fall? Can you tell us about that? It's when a lot of rocks are falling. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Luke. All right, go ahead and show off your plateau. Can you tell us a little bit about what you designed here? So a bit about what we designed here. Uh, so it's about hills. Most of it was designed with Cruz and Sarah, which I didn't really help with it. They designed it themselves. Okay, I appreciate your honesty. Very good. Can you tell us? Can you tell us a little bit of, uh, more about the hills? Hills are smaller than mountains. They are found on every continent. Did you know that technology has changed the measurements of hills and mountains? When Molin Mar, a mountain in Wales, was remeasured, it was found to be nine inches too short to be a mountain. Very nice, Judah. Thank you. And you guys can go show off your hills. I love that. Thank you. All right, I think we're going to get to hear a little bit about canyons next. So could you tell us a little bit about canyons, please? A canyon is a narrow, deep valley cut by a river through a rock. Canyons range in size from narrow slits to huge trenches. Did you know that canyons are formed by a river? Rivers gradually wear away the rock and soil, carving out the canyon's shape over thousands or even millions of years. I love that. Very cool. Well, go ahead and show off your canyons. All right, can you tell us a little bit about, looks like we have mountains. I'm going to have you step over here so we can show off your poster as well. Mountains are a landform that rises high above its surroundings. Did you know that 30 of the largest mountains are found in the Himalayas? Valleys are formed by rivers that erode or wear larger or wear down soil as well. This process takes thousands or millions of years. Did you know that the world's deepest known valley is a Yellow St. Paul? We have canyons in Tibet which reaches a depth of over 17,000 feet. That's awesome. Thank you, Angel. Well, you guys can go ahead and show off your poster. Very good. All right, looks like we've got the valleys. Did you want to tell us a little bit about the valleys? No, nope. okay, that's okay. Keep walking. All right, can you tell us a little bit about, looks like, are you going to talk to us about the islands? Okay, very good. Islands are areas of the land that are not connected to a continent and are surrounded by water. Did you know that the Greenland is not just a country? It is the largest island in the world. The body of land is surrounded by water on three sides of the peninsula. Did you know that the Atlantic Ocean is home to many different peninsulas, including the Iberian Peninsula in southwestern Europe and the Italian Peninsula? Very nice, Camden. Thank you so much. And make sure that you show your island poster right here to the camera. Good job. And what do you have for us here? The peninsula, sort of just like what she just talked about. Very nice. Thank you, guys. Those were awesome. Give those a round of applause. Love those speakers and those beautiful posters. Ah, uh, here comes another volcano. Very nice. Love it, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Did you have anything to say about your volcano, Mars? Or Simon? Nothing great. Keep walking. It's awesome. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, here it comes. The volcano itself. Make way. Here it comes. It is awesome. Coming through. This project took lots of hard work, you can tell. Wow, and you guys 
hold up your project so everybody can see who got some amazing hand forms that have been crafted and created on these paper plates. These are awesome. Very cool. Alive. I love it. Hold up those landforms for us, guys, so we can all see. Those are beautiful. Wow. I love all the different pieces that you've added to it. So all right, so I think we have third grade coming out with some animal adaptations. Am I right? Okay, so Landon, can you tell us a little bit about what you guys have been working on? In third grade, we learned that all plants and animals have a life cycle. We researched different plants and animals and noticed that they all have traits that they inherit as well. Adaptations are one of those traits. Thank you so much, Landon. And I'm going to let you go ahead and start walking with your box. You can walk slowly so you don't leave your, your classmates behind. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you guys have been working on? Amphibian, I mean, adaptations are the traits that animals and plants as that allows them to survive in their environment. There are three different types of adaptations called physical, behavioral, and life cycle. Perfect. Thank you so much, Ellie. Can you tell us a little bit more? Once we learned about animal traits and their adaptations, we chose an animal to research and become experts on. Our research included our animal's habitat, physical adaptations, and the animal. Very cool. I like your little bear project there. That's great. Can you tell us, finish it up for us? After completing our research, we got to create a diorama that showcased our animal, its adaptations, and its habitat. We had to create a design, think of materials and tools we needed, and then carry out our plan. Thank you so much, Claire. We can't wait to see those animal adaptations. So in third grade, come on out. Got a long corner to round here, so here they come. All right. Oh, I see an owl and a butterfly. These are so cool. All right. Very nice. Those animal adaptations. Very, very cool. Oh, we see. Oh, is this a chameleon hiding in its habitat? Very cool. Love it. It is camouflaged. You're exactly right. That's awesome. And Miss Gadbury is camouflaged too. All right. I see lots of different enclosures and habitats. Very cool. Yep. Make sure you show off. Turn turn to the side so that everybody can see your projects. Those are awesome. Oh, a shark. Cool, very nice. I love it. Can we see what you have there, Felix? Oh, very cool. And axolotl. Those have been very popular this year. Oh, some penguins. More axolotls. I'm telling you, those are popular. Chameleon. I love it. Very cool. Jellyfish? Squid? Are those squid animals? Very cool. Ooh. Ooh, that one's got lights on it. Oh, a honeybee. That's so cute. All right, let's give a round of applause for third grade. Those were amazing projects. Oh, here comes some more. Keep the applause coming here. They come. Great job, guys. These are awesome. Ooh, a panda. Very cool. And a shark. <laughs> now, I am a little biased, but this group might be my favorite this year. Can you sh share with us a little bit about what you guys have been working on? In first grade, we learned about sound waves. That's right, Lily. Good job. Sound waves are created when matter vibrates. A sound, a sound wave pitch can 
be high or low. Sound waves can be loud or quiet. That's awesome. And we talk a lot about that in music, right, guys? Yeah. Okay, well, we can't wait to see what you guys have made. Come on out, first grade. Hey, once they start rounding this corner, you're going to be able to hear them for a mile away. Come on through, first grade. Are they going yeah, Come on down. <laughs> you guys can play. Now, if you couldn't tell, First Grade has designed some amazing drums and guitars. That's why they're my favorite. These are awesome instruments that they've made. Very cool. And they're all functioning. Very cool. And the kids made these all by themselves. Love it. Let's hear those guitars, guys. You might have to leave it. Another xylophone. Alright, let's hear your drum, Lily. See, I told you, you can hear them from a mile away. There you go, Kaysen. Someday when these kids are in the marching band, they can look back and see their origin stories. Good job, guys. Let's hear your guitars and your drums. Good job. And as you can see, these drums and guitars are made out of totally recycled material, right? We uh, collected boxes and right here. Cooper, can you tell me a little bit about what you guys have been working on? We have been working on animals. Perfect! And can you tell us a little bit more about what you're learning about the animals? Where they live and what they need to survive. Uh, be watching for our insects, mammals, fish, birds, reptiles, and amphibian puppets. All right, thank you so much, Cooper. We are so, can you hold up your puppet for us? And he's made a? Shark! All right, go ahead and lead us out, Cooper. Come on down, kindergarten. All right, here they come. I see some ladybugs. Very cute. Can you shake them around for us? Woo! And some butterflies. Perfect. Oh, wow, her butterflies flying in the wind, I love it. And a fish. Wow, that looks like the rainbow fish. How cool. Ooh, some snakes. And some frogs. Very good. What is, oh, it's a crocodile. Oh, thank you. And a shark. And some owls. Very good. Oh, there's that peacock coming out. Very cool. Oh, a couple peacocks. Can you wave your peacocks in the air like this? Very good. Oh, I like how they shimmer and shine. Beautiful. And a bear. Oh, can we hear your bear growl? <laughs> and a little koala bear. And a toucan. How cute. Oh, they're so perfect. Oh, are those the monkeys? Monkey see, monkey do. Some lions? Are there any tigers? I already saw a bear. Lions and tigers and bears. Thank you. Oh, the monkeys! Can we hear your monkeys? Oh, perfect, perfect. And last but not least, we have coming down the hallway our pre K students. And I'm not sure what they've created, so I'm excited to see. Turkeys! Turkey cages! They trapped their own turkeys. Come on, guys. So if you were wondering what you were going to be eating for Thanksgiving this next week, here it is. Maybe you could learn how to catch your own turkey from these pre-K students. Very good, guys. Hold up. Hi. Hold up your turkey cage so we can all see it. Thank you. 
Oh, that's perfect. I love them. They're all so perfect. Did you use cranberries for that? That's great. Hi. Cranberries and marshmallows. Perfect. And I'm being told that they read a book called How to Catch a Turkey. How perfect. Very nice. Oh, I think hers is good and stuff. She's got plenty of marshmallows on there. Hold up your cages so we can all see them. Oh, wow. These are some pretty cute turkey cages. what they're going to do with our turkey now that they caught it. Let's give a round of applause for Pre-K and their turkey cages. Great job. Well, guys, thank you so much for coming to our 2023 Shaw Thanksgiving STEM Parade.